Are you ready, Moo? See, I'm ready. Come on, Jolly. Which way do you want to go? He picks which way he wants to go. Kind of pulls real hard a little bit. Gets a little crazy. Probably wants to pee on a mailbox or something. But um, this is William's favorite video. And usually I do riding with William Jolly. Here's Jolly. You know, he's got a mark of scent and sniff. And he might pee a little bit. But the point is, is that I am always very careful. And I always take care of Jolly. And I got very upset about one of my riding videos. Some, some guy, and there's always one person thought that well let's flip this the other way thought that i was gonna hurt jolly and run him over with the bike now listen i buy the best harnesses i can get they're like a parachute if you've seen these straps they're like you know two to almost three inches wide now the first ones we had were like with a samurai you know like they, they were old chinese with just like an apron strap you put the strap behind your back and you have to tie a bow tie and the other straps would go around your shoulders and you had to tie another one in front of you because they didn't have the fancy harnesses like they do now. Now, Jolly's harnesses are the best quality that I can afford to buy. Um, the story is, I went by the resale shop uh, two or three years ago and bought these newer, better harnesses than the original one for the first two or three years. And they were expensive. I said, lady, this is a lot of money. And she says, well, they're quality and they cost a lot. And she says, believe me, this is a good deal compared to what these things cost when they're new. Now, every time I shift weight, right now, well, here, let's give you a job. I want to see Jolly. Point is, every time I put on a harness, I shift weight. You know, I'm, I'm fat. I might have a coat on. I might have an extra shirt on. You know, so my belt size changes. So every time before... Me and Jolly Ride, I make sure that the harness is, is adjusted just like you would adjust your seatbelt in an older car for a ride. Also, I make sure that Jolly really wants to ride. He dances around. You know, I've actually had him on the back of the couch, had the bike there, and had him jump himself and slam dunk like a basketball himself into the harness with his two little paws hanging out. And this guy tells me that this dog is going to jump out and get run over by my bike. I don't mean to critique this person, but I don't think so. And the other thing is the same guy attacked me on my pancake with a mystery egg. Oh, you're going to poison yourself. Listen, I know a good egg from a bad egg, okay? I'm, I'm from a family. My, my great-grandfather was a baker. My grandma, Wallace Goppel, she was also a baker. And my family took Christmas cookies very seriously. My mom taught me how to tell a good egg from a bad egg. And I'm not saying this guy's a bad egg. He might actually really be concerned about my health and safety. But there's always a troll like Joel. And people who know me know who Joel is. And Joel has been blocked and is not my friend from Facebook just because he's out there somewhere. And I know this guy might have good intentions. But this could be one of those trolls like Joel who's out there somewhere. And hopefully he won't turn me in and think that I'm trying to kill my dog anymore who's ridden 3,500 miles on a bike. And I've ridden a total of 4,300 in the last five years because I'm riding again. What is wrong with people? I don't know. Anyway, have a blessed day. Hopefully you enjoy this video. I get in trouble on YouTube if I post too many videos. So this is probably the last one for the weekend. If they let me post this without a uh, problem. I'm going to show you a little jolly one more time. He, he just loves his walkie poos. Watch. Well, you got to check out this one, too. Okay, It's amazing. He keeps a little bit just to mark him. Then he digs on the ground a little bit like he just did. His nickname is Schnook Nooks or Schnookles. My dearest little boy, Schnooky Butts or dear little boy. Sometimes I just call him Schnook Nooks. <laughs> anyway, God bless, and I hope you enjoy this video. This is a really long one. Hopefully this isn't taking too much space on my phone. I'm actually, actually going to have to figure out how to... Uh, download some of the memory onto a RAM card or something so I can get more memory, memory or erase old videos. Somebody's going to teach me how to do that before my phone gets completely jammed up with this stuff. Anyway, see Jolly, he, he loves me. Now Julie, she'll fight me on a dog walk because she's strong and she's a little stubborn. But Jolly knows where to go and he knows his favorite places. Anyway, I said enough and God bless you. This is William's favorite videos and we were also talking about the new Riding with William and Jolly Facebook group. You know, I understand you might be concerned with Jolly's safety, but Jolly, like I said, was going to be put asleep 
a day or two if I didn't adopt him at the shelter five years ago. And the lady at the shelter, this is a true story, the lady at the shelter actually took my hand and she said, William, William, I am so glad you adopted this dog. And I said, why, lady? She said, he was scheduled to be put to sleep in a day or two. So I've given this dog over five more years of life than he would have had the next Tuesday after I adopted him at the shelter where they would, would have put a kind shot that would have stopped his heart and oh that's a decent way to just kill something and the guy accused me of the same thing that I'm going to ride my bike around and I'm going to kill Jolly and crush him after 3,500 miles listen we've dumped before I know what I would do I'd curl him gently and roll into a ball and make sure that he was safe and if even if we jumped out of the harness after we fell after a truck ran in front of us one time I got Jolly back three hours later, and he was fine. You know, I got hurt, but Jolly was okay. And the lady in the ne next door neighborhood had a video of, of this incident with the guy who was in the wrong lane passing a vehicle, you know, that was parked and was speeding. And she said, how did you survive? I said, you know, God told me what to do. So don't be concerned about us. You know, every day that Jolly and I have is another day that, you know, God's will is God's will. Someday we'll be in heaven together. Dogs don't live forever, and then you know what? I don't live forever either. Pardon my negativity this morning. Time for me to take Jolly back home. Actually, he probably wants to go pee on the fire hydrant first, so we're going to go and let him do his thing, and we'll go back. Bye.